Hello there, and welcome back to me, <laughs> but most importantly, Jenny Liclo. And we are at a graveyard right now, uh, meeting all sorts of new puzzles and interesting things. We have to find a secret entrance that the man in black is looking for. We're afraid he's going after our mother. We're afraid he's going to try to kill her. We want to get there first and somehow do something about it. But before that, we finally found the last piece of this postcard. So let's assemble it and see if there's another little story to it. Okay, that's that piece. I think this is probably the most difficult piece to deal with. Let's take this one instead. There we go. And then this one, we know where that goes. There we go. And down. This one, we also know where it goes. And up here. And this is easy. Oh, okay, we have to turn it just a little bit. There we go. And turn it just a little bit. Oh, I, th I thought for a second we were still one piece short, but uh, we aren't. There we go. Ta-da! But there is at least two more. I think the first one is six pieces, and then this one. I remember it as 10, but it can't have been 10. Possibly 8. So there's more than twice the amount. No, there's nearly a, a bit more than we have already found more to find. <laughs> Apparently that was a really difficult sentence for me. Let's examine this one though. Explore beautiful Arthaton. Let's flip it. This. Oh. Okay, I, I'm getting all the right wipes here. I'm thinking there's a lot of um, small mysteries in this game and small puzzles to solve. These things are a secondary objective. You aren't necessarily meant to find all of them. You can complete the game without. But if you find all of them, there's a puzzle in them. Because the last puzzle had a constellation on it that had some numbers. It was a dragon. This one, we're seeing some jewels that have numbers as well. And I'm just thinking, there must be a reason. They must be used for something. And it might not, it might be an extra thing that you only find if you really look for it. I really hope so. Hmm. Okay, so let's read it. Hey sis, you'd love it here. It always feels like fall. Junior year has been a real whirlwind. I'm having a hard time with my dissertation. Tip, don't major in ancient Orthotonian culture. So I went to the museum for inspiration found some really beautiful jewel, uh, jewelry. Give Petey a big hug for me. Did he like the bone I sent him? Really hoping that's a dog. XOXO. Gemma. Okay, and then the gems. Interesting. Oh, okay, we, uh, yeah, we can zoom, but we don't have uh, anything. Uh, we can do there and we don't want to do like that we just want to go out if i can hit the right key um yeah so that's uh what's going okay good we are still kind of locked in oh okay can't go further that way so right now we are looking at the names of um kickstarter people some of them at least we aren't going to stop and look at them. You can pause the video if you're interested. We're just looking for extra things like this sticker. Great. And I think that's all we're going to find here. So let's go out. Oh, no. 
yeah, I can, I can hear we were moving around. So, uh, the game kind of bugged out again. Let's see if we can, uh, last scene was, what was an hour ago. That's terrible. But let's see if we can quit and then go in again. And I'm pretty sure it will be basically the place where we were before. I'm sure it's going to be fine. But that's the third bug we've seen. And it's just as like we've seen two different bugs and that's one of them So we have okay yeah it remembers most of the things so let's go down here we have to find a postcard again and make it again yeah i'm, I'm cutting that out yeah let's okay yeah i'm cutting that out okay I'll be back uh, with you in just a bit. Bye. Okay, and uh, we are back. Fortunately, we didn't have to do the things again. They weren't there, so I uh, expect that we have completed them. And that's really nice to know if it should ever occur again, which I feel like there's a chance it might. Okay, here's the third one. Oh. I know that one of the ones that point that way need to be straight. I remember that much. So let's straighten it up. Oh, that's too much. Is that straight? I wouldn't say that's straight. What? Can I leave it there? Can I leave it like that? No. I don't think I can. I can give it one more. And then we go all the way down. Interesting. Okay, was there to begin with? Okay, let's explore all of the angels that we can find and then go back and look at how we need to kind of set them up. Because it doesn't feel like that one was, yeah, pointing straight. It was pointing very downward. Oh, inspect ladder. How am I going to get up there? I certainly don't know. We can't go further that way, but let's see, we can move this sword as well. Will this, okay, this goes to straight, that's, that's pointing straight, that's good. The other one wouldn't do that, so that means, let's see here, that means we can take that out of the equation and we should be able to determine where the others should be by same logic if they're able to point the way that we want them they're probably the ones that should point that way let's go up here and look at this one more time them in the door we go up here so we have pointing down pointing up okay so the ones that are turned towards the right, it's down and straight. And the ones that are turned towards the left is up, down, straight. So down, straight and up, down, straight. Yeah, okay, I'm taking my phone out. I know, it's a bit shameful, but I, uh, I have trouble remembering things like this. Let's see. Maybe we won't even need it. <laughs> Was there something down here that responded to anything? No, it seems locked in place still. And I would think that this one was cleared, but maybe it's only when we clear all of them. So let's see here. We already have, I think the first one we see is this one. And that's locked in place. And I'm thinking that's why this sword is out. And then there's four more that aren't in the right place. Hmm. Okay. So the one up there is pointing upwards. Let's see about that. And it's turned that way. It's the first one turned that way. So I think it's correct. 
let's go to the right one up here. I think it's positioned the way it should be. Pointing upwards. It can't be pointing more upwards than it is. Okay, we'll leave it there. Then there's this one. It's pointing downwards. It should be pointing downwards. That should be correct too. No, wait, it should be uh, straight. Because the first one, that the one that we met before we even got up here, that was pointing downwards and it was kind of locked in place. And I'm assuming that that's the one that's already opened. So let's try to see if we can, we could. That's good. We can point this straight out. So let's see. Did that change anything down here? I can't see it from here. Can we see if we run a bit a little, a little further? No. See, nothing has changed. And that, that is a bit strange to me. Okay. So we have the one that points down. We have the one that points up. We have the one that points straight. We need one that points downwards and straight. And those are the last two ones. Let's just go and check on those. To make completely super safety sure. Because the one over here. Yeah, that's pointing straight. Good. That points straight. Oh, wait. If that points straight, then we did it wrong. Yeah. That points straight. Then this one needs to point downwards. <laughs> well, good thing we noticed. See, the first one is one we can't change so we can only change the other ones so let's see here if we tap it oh okay we have to go the whole way around see this would have been much easier with a mouse and one more time pointing downwards good exit and then we'll go down here then we just need to make sure the last two are correct because that one up is so we need one that points downwards and one that points straight okay okay hopefully we can do that one that points downwards and one that points straight we already dealt with the straight one so this one needs to go downwards but all the way oh come on, come on. there we go and up first, apparently, and then down. It's all the way down. But that seems a bit much. We'll see if that's correct, but it doesn't look correct. It looks like it should be as it were before. Who knows? But up we go again, and this one is straight, and I think it should be. So, if this one over is correct, then all of them should be correct. We'll see. Or maybe we're just doing it completely incorrectly. All of it. straight like this that's that's straight come on okay downward you go yeah that must be correct oh. Oh. okay we can't go that way 
Okay, and let's go down here. And then look at this one over here again. The one that's locked. It's pointing straight. Yeah, that's good. Pointing straight and pointing down, as they should. Pointing down and pointing straight, yes. And then pointing up. But maybe this is not the one that should be pointing up. That might be a possibility. Maybe that's wrong. Actually, I've never... Um, middle discs here, have they been moving around? Possibly. Let's go up and check. Let's move this one around and see if we said that this one was not the one we thought it was and it should be either pointing straight or down. Let's try one of those. Come on. That's straight. Did something change down here? It really does not feel like it. We'll try one more time and then take it that downwards. Is there anything else that... No, the middle bits haven't changed. But is there anything else that signifies them? Oh, the wings. Yes, look, the fourth from the left, it has a clipped wing like the one we're standing at. That signifies it and that should be downwards and not upwards like we thought. So now we need to go back and the one that was down needs to be up. Good thing. Okay. I did not see that detail before. There was a difference to them. Great. Okay. Now I think we have it. That one is correct. And then the one that's down should be up. And I think that's the one down here. So that's good. We don't have to crawl up that long ladder again. Yeah, this one is down. Let's get it up. With some tapping. Feels like a very dirty joke, but not. There we go. Ah, and I think that means we've... Yes. Oh, that's good. Finally. <laughs> Very satisfying to, um, to deal with it. This was the hardest puzzle yet. It was a very small detail that you had to notice to correctly do it the first time. You could have brute forced it, of course, and that would just have taken even longer. I'm glad we didn't have to do that. So yeah, let's like have a... Oh, okay, we can't go up there. Let's see here. Okay, this moves three of them. This moves two of them. This moves... Uh, they all move quite a lot of them. It <laughs> Nearly. Okay. Let's see here. We need to find... Oh. It correctly. No. It must be one of them. Yeah, good. It was this one. So this one should be... Um, like... Like that. No, wait. We need to do the others first. So which one controls that one? It's this one. Okay. And which one? Wait. This one controls all of those three. So is this the first one to be moved or which one? Yeah. Okay. This is the first one and then this one and then this one and then this one. There we go. Yeah. Just take the ones that control most and do them first because the ones that control most are not controlled by anything else. So. Got it. Some days she does feel super smart. Jenny studied the stone discs now perfectly aligned. It's the face of a dagger. That's unusual. 
Mm. A badger, not a dad. <laughs> it's a badger, not not a dagger. Right? It's a badger face. Was it the badger and the hawk? No, it was a weasel. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Something tells me this isn't a tomb. A tomb. I think you're right. Oh, I fi. <laughs> oh, seriously? There we go. I won't even tell you what that was. <laughs> oh, no, one more of them. If the huge coiling wires hadn't made it clear, the honking, hulking, Metal shell certainly did. This isn't a tunnel. This is the entrance to another laboratory, just like the one in the forest. How many of these are there? The presence of such unusual and foraging objects in Arthodon begged even bigger questions. Who put them here and for what purpose? It seemed to Jenny as if the graveyard itself had been built around a sphere, a perfect hiding place. If something this conspicuous Conspicuous would be so easily concealed. What else is off the thon writing? That's a very good point. Can we enter it? Yeah, we can. Okay, last time we uh, we went up here and we clicked on a button. Well, we didn't win. We didn't go up anywhere, but we clicked on a button. So let's do that again. But it closed the f the sphere, and uh, yeah, I did again. But we'll see. We have to solve the puzzles in here to get out. I don't know, but these rooms could be modeled over the concept of escape rooms because they're very much the same thing, but much simpler. Well, at least we know it's working. As a dozen intricate machines wired to life, Jenny noticed a remarkable resemblance yet overlooked before. Also, before we even go further, what if this is something someone meant for us to do? What if everything has been put in order for us to go and start all of these? Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's part of someone's plan. Any notice? Yeah. Some of this equip equipment looks like the stuff in Susie's lab. Oh, okay. That we did notice last time. We did say so, but you know, it could also be because they didn't have the money to reproduce the visuals for another place. So yeah. Interesting. I can't believe I missed it before. That girl owes me some answers. Yeah. He kind of does. Okay, we have a radio again. Is it the same kind of puzzle? Another radio. Maybe these are used to communicate between laboratories. It was a hunch, but if it were true, whoever's transmitting the message could be in another sphere somewhere in this town. True. Let's turn the dials. Uh, what did we... Yeah, we, we, we made them long last time. That helped us. And like low gain, low gain, and we're there. It's just one thing at a time. Ooh, yeah, this looks more correct. And the gain is wrong now, but we can deal with that. Oh, we nearly had it there. But the green one. Is moving way too fast. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see here. The filter. Yeah, that's just wrong. They are not the same size. No, that's too much. Okay, can we get them more same sizey? Yeah, sort of. Uh, I think that's the best we can do right now. So let's go back to gain. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, we can get them same size. They're same size here. Um, and then the polarity, we have to change the red and the blue because that must be the, the way that they are moving. So if we just change these, there we go. And there we go. So we're nearly there. Let's see here. Frequency, I would guess, could have some effect on this. Oh no, too much. Uh uh. Okay, not frequency. And the gain seems quite correct. Yeah. That's the filter. Oh, not the right thing. Oh, it's not the filter either. Okay, well, it's the tracking then. If there's only thing left. <laughs> there we go. It's the same voice as before. But it's saying something new. Oh, we should have we should have taken print screens, shouldn't we? <laughs> no, well we didn't, so but there's a new code. This code was different from the last. It's much shorter. Just as strange though. Can you carefully transcribe the words into her journal? Let's see what the hawk and the weasel have to say about this. Do we still have the book? We still have the book. Okay. Well, this time we're not going to read them. So it's going to be much faster. Do we have some rapid? We have some rapid. Okay, let's uh, zoom. And find 60. That's right here only. Do we have more? We have... Let's see. We, oh, we have bear as well. So bear is also here. Let's perch. And we have... One more bear and one more rabbit. We have the oh is and rabbit seventeen near perch only is near the end is near. Is that what's going to say? I feel like that might very well be okay. So do we have some hawk and some weasel? Yeah, we have both. Um, so. 41 that's right down here to despair um good and then weasel should be around here silenced okay maybe i was wrong <laughs> then we have goose wolf sheep wolf sheep okay wolf sheep that's here right yeah infected perch infected oh this is getting creepy really creepy soon perch infected soon only something will survive <laughs> oh i'm getting giddy okay 26 wolf that's right here wait oh it's so up here yeah 26 wait there we go only death hmm <laughs> Forever silence, despair. Oh, it can in the end. Oh no, it's not the end. Wait, that's the whale, and here's the. Okay, because down here and the uh, it says end here, so I thought that was the one it was gonna use, but it's not. So it's twenty one, actually, herself. Okay, she puts in commas herself. That's kind of presumptuous to do, but uh, Jenny will believe you. Perch infected. Soon only death. Forever silenced. Despair herself is near. Commas could have been put quite differently. Perch infected soon. Only death forever. Silent despair herself is near. That could have been a thing too. A message as sinister as the last sent Jenny's analytical mind into overdrive. Is the man in black sending these messages? Purge infected, forever silenced. Could that have something to do with Dean Strawsberry? He seemed infected. It can't be a coincidence that I found a copy of the same book by the Dean's corpse. But how are they connected? Soon only death. Despair itself is near. And now they're coming for mom. I don't think it has anything to do with mom. 
that would be strange. Uh, what does she know that they're willing to kill her for? Actually, that is a good question. CJ said there were three things that a man could be killed for. He was um, not not minding his own business, kind of being with the, like the wrong woman or like the wrong like some love affair stuff, and then not keeping quiet. I think those were the three. Ah, my memory's a little shaky. Let's, um, that might not be true. Uh, it's a few days ago now. Examine machine. Okay. This looks like something that can destroy something. Diamond is very tough. This contraption was new to Jenny, but something about it caught her eye. Yeah. We know what fits in here. Dean's ring. Oh, a large metal slab with a distinctive indentation carved into its surface. That shape. Where have I seen it before? The Dean's ring. Oh, that was a new, like, ding -a ling I like that. Put the ring in there. Oh, do we have to open it again? Oh, come on. That's not okay. I believe it was something like... No. Okay. Then it's like this. No? No. I feel like it's changed, but there we go. And then push the middle button. Hmm. Satisfying. Hmm. <laughs> oh, goosebumpsy. See, okay, it looks so bad quality right now. That's not good. I don't like that. It fits. In fact, it fit perfectly into the slot as though it was made for it. Okay, do we have some, um... Stickers. I feel like there's a sticker here somewhere. There's buttons and stuff. But we're not looking for buttons. We're looking for stickers. And, and there's there's no stickers. Okay, let's see here. There are well only one we can click. Doesn't seem to be working. Probably just to lose connection somewhere. Well Where's the stickers? Are you hiding them? I can't find any stickers. No, I'd be so sure there would be a sticker. Okay. I don't think the connection is here, but we can click on it. A piece of rare Othonian quartz. Expertly carved and shaped with meticulous precision. Interesting. Feels like it's going to hammer something. Could, could be the antenna or maybe a power coil. But where does it get its power? Yeah, I know it's not there. Come on. Obviously it's here. Okay, let's see here. There's one missing there, so we can't do much about that. Unscrew it. With the tapping again. Okay, down. And unscrew it one more time. Good that we are so good at unscrewing fins. Or tapping. Oh, it's one more of these. Mm hmm. Okay. Jenny knew the best way to fix electronic anything electronic was to mess around with it until all the lights came on. Uh, okay, so let's start with this one because that's wrong. Oh, how do I turn it? I'll turn them like this. There we go. And then this one. Uh, let's see here. No, we'll start with this one. That's also wrong. That's easy to tell. Still wrong, still wrong. Still wrong. That's not wrong. Good. And then... This one is also wrong. That's better. Uh, and then this one. There we go. Okay. If being a great detective didn't work out, Jenny had a promising career in machine repair to fall back on. Well, if it weren't... If it isn't more difficult to repair machines, and machines are just lumped all of them together in one big hodgepodge, then yeah, I think yeah. Oh, good, we started. Let's see what happens. Um, gonna send some signal, maybe? Or is it gonna hammer it? What's going on? 
Oh, it changes colors. Did it break or did it finish what it had to? I could have lost an eye. The machine's true application would remain a mystery for now, but whatever its purpose, the implications were overwhelming. Dean Strawsberry is somehow connected to this place. Had the teen been aware of the secret hiding within his ring, whether he knew or not, it's likely he had been killed because of it. so sure that ring is the same it might have changed okay i'm thinking this is the last puzzle we have to solve in here oh answer i don't think it's the same incorrect code oh that's good of course it is that would have been too easy okay i'm i'm very happy that that wasn't the case uh can we inspect it please enter one, two, three. No, okay, that's not, yeah. Um, so it's one, one, two, three. Or one, one, three, four. I can't remember. We found the suitcase. It also had this, um, a, a four number code. Well, who says it needs to be four? Four characters long. Uh, ooh, okay. It's not as easy as we might have thought. And we can't go that way. And we cannot get out. Okay. So I'm thinking it's scribbled down on something we can interact with. Because, uh, or we can just see it. It might be in plain sight and I've just overlooked it. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> that might also be the case. Yeah, you can see there's a little Thing I'm gonna take down here. Look under cable. In amongst a web of cables, the average eye would have missed it. But Jenny LeClue was a great detective. There's a book pinned beneath the cable. A whole book. Confidential. And then a lot of numbers. The word was music to Jenny's ears. I understand why. Oh, so many clues. Let's zoom and get them. Okay, it would seem there's nothing there. Okay, let's see here. Reminder, uh, laundromat, buy new underwear. Interesting. Entry. At last, we begin project Excelsior. Excelsior. Uh, thanks to our wonderful benefactors. I thought that would be a, a important word here. Standing inside my lab. Oh no, we're not. We're not down there yet. It's exactly as I had hoped. Perfectly concealed. It's a real thing of beauty. I call it Caesar's spear. Caesar. Didn't recognize the name, but couldn't put her finger on where she'd heard it before. I can't remember either. So, this lab it is, is his invention. I'm not sure we've heard it before, us, the player, but maybe. He called it a Caesar Spear. Spear. Well, at least I've got a name now. Nigel think it's pretentious to name it after myself, but let's see him design a geodesic structure that can with, withstand and such incredible external forces. <gasps> the language. Whatever we call it, we'll finally be able to study and harness the po power of Atherton's greatest resources. Interesting. These machines were built to study and harvest the power of Atherton's greatest resource. They were experimenting on the town itself. No, that's not what it's saying, actually. Uh, infinite possibilities. Interesting. Side note, Nigel keeps mispronouncing my name. I swear he's doing it on, perf on, on purpose. It's Professor Cesar. It's like laser. Cesar? Okay. With a set. How hard is that? So it's Cesar. Okay. Who are the council of three? Why does it all... What? 
What's wrong with the number two? It's never, ooh, there's two of them. There's always three. It's a magical number. Two is better. Who are they? Yeah. Council of three. Never heard of them. Sounds like he didn't know who they were either. But they paid for all of this? Question mark? Well, nothing says that they did. Hope the money doesn't dry up. Next. Oh, did we have both pages? There's nothing hidden here, is there? No. Okay, next page. And this one's blank. And this one is blank. So this. These are missing. Missing pages. Entry 103. There's a lot of missing pages there. Uh, another sphere fully op operational. The project continues to grow. Every time we start an experiment, we discover a new property to examine. Each result further supporting my theories. This town is special. That said, I found my time lightly, lightly spent moving between laboratories. I'm tired of managing. I want to get my hands dirty. Scary. This town is special. There's these. And there's a ferris wheel. Oh, the irony, indeed. Um, doesn't seem to be anything important here. There's one here, maybe. Entry 104. New lab idea. Toying with the with designs for a newer, much more ambitious, larger facility. He designed a bigger sphere, bigger than this. Did he ever build it? And if he did, where is it? I am guessing... Um, oh, what was it? What's this called? Um, it was connected to the graveyard. It, it's like uh, you, you study the... Um, you study the stars from it. I can't remember the word. It's completely gone. But it has a spear inside of it, sort of. If my calculations are correct, it should be capable of up to 1200 output capacity. This could propel us to a whole new world of possibilities. There's a reminder here. Reminder, ask Mr. Gray again for face to face with MGMT. Isn't that a band? Are they avoiding me? Starting to wonder if they even exist. Strange. Asked around. No one has met them. Who are they? Who are they? Hmm. Interesting. I think that's all the clues we found here. There's a lot of stuff missing again. Go here. Entry 288. Terrible setback spotted an anomaly in the Badger experiment too late. I think that's where we are. Of course, Mr. Gray and Mr. Blue showed up just in time to witness the explosion. Plasma everywhere. All units lost. Mr. Blue nearly lost an eye. Not looking forward to debriefing on Friday. There was a Badger on the door to this lab. Indeed. So this must be the experiment he was talking about. That's a bit scary. We're in here. This is going to set us back weeks. And someone won. <laughs> Entry 289. Days blurring together. Every experiment brings us, us closer to unlocking the seemingly impossible. But the number of strange incidents at the labs continue to grow. Who keeps stealing my pens? We've actually seen quite a lot of pens going through the game. Hmm. Two, entry 297. More setbacks. More unwelcome interruptions. Exhausted. Rushed schedule. Dangerous conditions. That has... Sounds like something that could have to do with our dad. Exhaustion. Rushed schedule. Dangerous conditions. The parallels with her father's own working conditions were distressingly clear. Indeed. Why did they insist we run the new test this week? It's just not ready. We need to enhance safety protocols and be vigilant to avoid any more contamination or accidents. I'm starting to think that they aren't in this for the right reasons. Someone followed me home last night. Who are they? Council of Three. Knowledge. Ignorance. 
progress, corruption, control, no order, control, no self destruction. Interesting. There's so much missing. It's such a shame. Entry 342. Been sleeping in the lab. Nothing to come home to. What am I doing here? What are we really trying to accomplish? I must believe that our personal sacrifices are worthwhile. No. So we have a greater purpose. Hmm. Entry 385. Too late. I was so naive. Can't get their faces out of my mind. The screams, the darkness, the hole will never be filled. All dead, all my fault, all my fault, all my fault, all my fault. All dead, all my fault. The words echoed across the metal walls. Ghost of a past stra tragedy. Tragedy. What did he do? It must have been terrible. That's a good question. Oh, we are out here. Okay, there's not all my fault. He questions it, but at this point, he's convinced. Okay, it's two blank pages, and then the last page. Entry 621. What a bittersweet feeling. After seven years, we're finally getting stable. Repeatable results, but the cost has been great. The output ratio is incredible, but we're only just beginning to unlock the potential. In the right hands, this could change the world. The new lab is nearly operational, so he did build it. But I'm not sure we are. As always, they'll push it too far. But full output will take years. Perhaps there's still time to make amends what for happened. Or what happened. Safety is top priority. People is more valuable than progress. The entry is from much later. There's lots of pages missing. It seems that whatever happened before, he carried on his work long after. As the case, in all of the tangled mysteries, every new piece of evidence raised more questions than it answered. But she now knew the purpose of the Caesar Spear, and the name of the people who had built it, the Council of the Three. There wasn't much to go on, but it was a start. Oh, no. Uh, go out? Oh, we're, are we not? Are we not done? I guess we're missing a number? Are we missing a number? What are we missing? I can zoom, I can change pages. Uh, what are we missing? I feel like we are missing a number. Or the... Uh, the code word, but it's weird that it doesn't tell us to look for it. Who keeps stealing my pens? Entry. I was so naive. It's all my fault. Oh, there we go. That's why. What's this? Another blank scrap of paper. Oh, why the tapping, Nigel? Please stop writing the code down, memorize it, and destroy this immediately from Caesar. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid that's where we stop today. Mm. There's so much going on. We now know that all of these things have been planted here for a reason. Someone was trying to do something. They build a bigger sphere, possibly. And they might have even succeeded in what they plan to do. We know the Dean. The Dean is quite surely. There's a chance he is implicated. But who knows? Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, leave a like or dislike, and please tell me why. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Cheers.